Bienvenidos a todos y a todas. Welcome everybody, welcome to a new series on my YouTube channel. I really want to make an effort to show you lesser visited places in Europe or hidden gems. And this is episode one. I am in Murcia or Murcia in southeast Spain. This region has 323 days of sunshine a year. So it's definitely best visited outside of summer for perfect temperatures. So we're talking early spring or autumn times. And what makes it really unique is its diving spots, its marine life, its tomatoes and much more. So let's dive into the best things to do in Murcia. Okay guys, if you are into activity trips, then Mercia is definitely the place for you. Honestly, it was one of the most active trips I have ever done. So here is a little overview of everything we did and we're starting with snorkeling. Hola. Hola. Gracias. Oh, okay, here you go. I just jumped, yeah? Oh okay. god, guys, here we go. <laughs> Come back to the surface, don't worry. Ah. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. This is probably the moment when I was most peaceful throughout the entire trip. Being underwater is just something very, very special. And now, in case you're wondering what are you wearing, these are sweat nets to protect uh, you from sweating into your cycling helmet because we also went cycling along the coastline. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Sorry, oh my god! I promise it was harder than it looks, guys. It was probably also because I chose to take a non-electrical bike for some reason. Here you can see me being overtaken by an electrical bike. Nonetheless, it was wonderful to discover Mercia's coastline this way. And you know, it was very hot. So we stopped by a little beach along the way and we topped it all off with an ice cold beer. We're going to do a trekking route and we're going to start. I hope you enjoy. Hey, did not see you there. <laughs> also something super important to mention is that we started this trek at 9 a.m. in the morning because obviously after 12 it gets too hot. So if you decide to do this, make sure you get up early. Honestly guys, the landscape right now is mind blowing. It kind of reminds me as if it was from a Star Wars movie. I don't know if that's the right way to describe it, but there's so many different plants. There's so many different rocks. There's palm trees, there's red rocks and dry, you know, sand around me right now. So for me, that is really beautiful. Point seven miles and seven kilometers later, we are done. I am super proud of what I achieved. Bye, adios. <laughs> and for the last part of the activity bit, we are going on a jet ski. As this is not the most eco-friendly way to explore, for me, this is definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity. And in case you're wondering how that went for me, here we go. What can I say? <laughs> it was a very choppy day, but it was super fun. This is my friend Rachel behind me there. We got very wet, but we laughed a lot. And also you should visit the lighthouse of Cabo de Palos. Basically, there is a legend about it that it was once owned by a family who then got swept away by the ocean, <laughs> which is why it's now electrical. I love legends like this. I'm not sure how much I believe it, but the lighthouse is impressive nonetheless. <laughs> Going up the lighthouse. <laughs> yeah. 
Over 300 steps later, I am a sweaty mess, but also the breeze up here is super nice, so I am cooling down. It was 100% worth it. Look at how crystal blue the water still is, even from up here. I'm enjoying this a lot, 100% a must visit. And obviously, I could never make a video about an area in Spain without talking about its food. The tomatoes really were as good as they say. They were crunchy and fresh and I mean, just look at them. I'd happily go back and live just off tomatoes. As expected, the seafood was wonderful. Here are some garlicky mussels. This is my face when I tried the garlic oil. <laughs> it was intense, but super good. And now would you look at this beautifully grilled octopus? I mean, there really isn't much else I have to say. We had some salt fish, we had some calamari. We also had some sushi-esque tuna, which I really enjoyed. Overall, it's probably best described as filling and flavorsome. We had a lot of this and we had a lot of that. And I present to you for the final course, Arroz Caldero, which is a Mercia region rice dish served with different fish such as dorada and aioli on the side. I loved it. Here's me trying it. It was the first meal I had and probably also my favorite. Right, so something you should also do when coming to Mercia is explore its cities. Today I'm going to show you two of them. The first one is Loca and the second one is Aguillas. Loca by foot, Aguillas by boat. Right now we're in Loca. It's a city full of history. It's the third largest city in Mercia and so far Beautiful. Also something super interesting to know about Lorca is that it is one of the most diverse cities here in Mercia. So by diverse, I mean culturally diverse. There's a lot of people here who come from South America, from Africa and from Eastern Europe to settle. And for me, that always makes a city more interesting instantly. After this epic overview of Lorca, we have arrived in Aguilas for our boat trip with this lovely boat here called Don Pancho. I always get a little bit sick, so let's see how this goes. Here we are. I want to have this much fun when I'm their age, guys. I tell you, it was a pleasure to watch these ladies have fun and sing and dance on our boat ride around Aguilas. And it really made me forget my seasickness completely. So we've just been walking around Agias with our tour guide and there is a story that I really want to share with you. Basically, once a year they have a month long of carnival, all centered around a beast that they reinvent every year. And then they go up to the castle with the beast, then they follow the beast down here to this main square. They release it, everybody starts dancing and fireworks go up. So how fun does that sound? I would love to go and come back one day. And for the final part of our Aguilas trip, we climbed these very Instagrammable stairs, which are now to be found on my Instagram at Sandy Makes Sense. We climbed these and a few more to eventually reach the top of the castle, Castillo de San Juan de las Aguilas. That's the exact name. From there, we had wonderful sunset views. And I did film a time lapse, which I am going to show to you now the sky wasn't changing too much during the time lapse but if you watch very closely you will see some cats
Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed it. I am going to fly back to London from Mercia Airport, which is very empty right now. <laughs> it's a brand new airport. It took me literally eight minutes from arrival in the taxi through to security uh, to settle down with my tomato juice. <laughs> so that's the end of the video. Come and check out Mercia. All the links that you need to know about are below. See you soon.